Gemini, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick, okay? Okay, Gemini. So I have your coffee cup right here. I'm going to read it in a minute. I have tarot that I'm going to pull on oracle cards. And also I have the messages that I saw in the coffee before when I was drinking it that I wrote down. Okay, this is interesting now. This is going to be very interesting. I can tell you this already. So I saw three dots and these dots were stars. Three stars in a, in a row. And I ended up looking this up. I'm like, does this mean anything? Is there some kind of constellation that has three significant stars in a row? And immediately it's telling me that three stars in a row is significant of uh, divine guidance. Okay. Um, an emblem of divine guidance uh, can be talking about the um, journey of the three wise men being guided by the north star here so there could be something here that you're guided upon some kind of journey here where other people are going to be helping you and where you're also going to be receiving gifts here okay and this is very very important you could feel i saw a dragon and the dragon was like fading in the cup this is the year of the dragon so you could feel like this year is kind of slipping past you and like everybody else things are changing stuff is happening life is progressing but for you it's like it doesn't seem like it's getting anywhere and this is because there's a lot of things that are going to happen you're going to actually pass if you're trying if you're looking at your life compared to other people and you're like Look at all the things going on with them. What about me? Uh, which is a, just in a natural way. I'm not saying in an envious way. No, 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 no. Of course, we want other people to be doing well. We're happy for them. But it's kind of like, okay, when's my turn? I want to do that as well. Is this kind of energy? And this is something where you're going to see this change. Um, yeah, because I saw a llama. Lama are very self-reliant, they're very resourceful, they're very loyal to their loved ones here, but then there was this element of the outsider here. So are you the outsider and there's other people that have a loyalty and you're on the outside? I feel like that could be happening in some kind of a situation, but also there could be situations where you're with kind of a group of people, could be family, and then there is an outsider coming in here. It's kind of happening in different areas of your life and you're at different angles of it perhaps. There is going to be some kind of thing where it could be like a disagreement. I feel like you're going to say agree to disagree and I'm going to move on from that situation here. There is a situation about seeing that you can trust something that you can trust and somebody has a different skill set than what you have and this could be beneficial. It's like this person here, it's like they know the desert and you don't know the desert. So it's like, yeah, but you're coming here from somewhere else where you don't know anyone and they're going to help you, right? But it's like, are they, you know, um, are they like um, taking advantage of you because there's nobody else around that knows the desert? So you kind of need to use their, utilize their help. So I feel like if you kind of feel like that is a situation to just look into that, to be aware of that, to ask questions, to do your own kind of research. But I feel like you're going to come to find out that um, there are other people that bring different things to the table that is like to your benefit that you really appreciate that about this person. There could be a love that sparks from somebody that is very different from you. And um, this could be something where you want to do something where you're a little bit out of your element. And this ends up really taking off into something very amazing here. Um, I saw a cactus which represents everlasting spirit. Okay, that spirit is not going anywhere in the cactus in the middle of the desert. And, you know, the cactus has water all up inside, you know, and this is symbolizing emotions and holding in these emotions. So there could be a person here that is very, you know, cactuses are like pokey on the outside, right? So it could be a person who is very reserved and they seem a little bit um angry you can't really read them and they're just like are they a grumpy person you know or are they just a person that they are holding in all of these emotions 
that they have and there's something gonna happen with that like maybe you're gonna help this person understand how to express their emotions and maybe they're gonna help you with something else that you need assistance with so there's like ways that you're gonna help people and they're gonna help you in different ways there's gifts that are gonna be given to you um yeah being able to flourish despite adversity okay so there is something here where you're going to be very successful in something and this is because you're willing to look at different perspectives with different people and bring them all together here and you're willing to um help others give to others and you're willing to receive help from others and gifts from other people as well but there is something here about that let's see more about this Wow, there could be a person that stands up for you. There is a person here with their arms up in the air, okay? And then this is a little heart above it. This There is a person that's going to stand up for you. And this is something, there's a horse above that. It's your freedom. They're standing up for your freedom. And because you are first standing up for your freedom, and you're you're wearing something on your head you're carrying something on your head which is means that you're usually utilizing your strengths to your advantage and you are balanced you are confident you are sure in your ability to do this i have a picture right over here of should i get the picture hold on one second it's just too good not to get the picture just yank this thing right off the wall. I should just put it right on over here. Okay, so this is women in Bali, Indonesia, and they are carrying bricks on their head. And it's very easy for them to do this. This is a way. So there is a way that you can, you're figuring out to do something, and it could be very distinct. It's different. So in the beginning, other people are trying to, it's like, yell at you not to do this thing or discourage you from straying from this way of doing something but you're gonna do it anyways with some kind of confidence and that being shown here this is how you're attracting this person who's going to respect your freedom and defend your freedom defend your honor here there's something here about just an honorable honorable <laughs> you know what I mean, a person who is going to stand up for your honor here. And this is something that, you know, it really is going to warm your heart here. Um, this can be a person that you already know, or this could be a new person that is coming in. There is something here. You have a school bus here, and this is giving me Kokuum vibes because there's an angry face under this school bus. So Kokuum, if you've watched the Disney's Pocahontas, you know, he's supposed to marry Pocahontas and, you know, Pocahontas is with John Smith, sorry, you know, and well, actually Kokuum dies, so that's really sad, but, but, um, I forgot about that, <laughs> I feel bad, but, um, he's a character, okay, uh, <laughs> you know, he's very angry, so there could be a person here that you've known for a very long time. You could have met them in some kind of school or when you were going in between different things in your life, traveling or when you were like moving or when you were like from this phase to that phase, you were going through a transition in your life when you met this person could be. And um, they're, they're not, you're not together but they wanted you to be together there could be just some kind of weird energy about that um yeah okay you know this is interesting <laughs> because there is if there is a person that you're wondering about if you should have given that person a chance or blah 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 here is a person with a backpack on and a hat on and this is a butterfly right so this is like transition okay so yeah during this time of transition in your life when you were going here when you were going there maybe you're wanting to travel you're wanting to do more of that you're gonna be able to do that and you're gonna meet the right person when it is the right time um because 
there was something here about this person is like resting and watching the butterfly and smiling. So it's like, you know, the first the butterfly is a cat, an egg, a cocoon, a caterpillar, or whatever, and then a butterfly. So there's something here you're coming to an end of something and the start of something else. There is a start of a new journey here, and this could be where you meet somebody else. And there was a person here that was kind of like, oh, I thought we were going to do this journey here. And that could even be a friendship. But there, there's something there that doesn't speak to you, and this new way speaks to you. This new way of being, this new place that you want to go to, whatever that is here, you're going to go towards the newness. And you may not have all the details planned out. I don't know if you saw, but there's like a huge fly around here somewhere, okay? So... I've been um, feeding this stray cat, okay, and so I open my door and, you know, I have my door open because the cat will not come in the house and the cat wants me to be out there with him, so we have the door open and there you go, there's a fly in here. But here's the thing, there's something here about helping somebody, but you don't want to help, so you're helping somebody and there's something here that's making you realize your creative energy because... Cats represent feminine energy, they represent the creative. So there could be something here that you're realizing you want to create, that you're wanting to do. And there's something here about cats, you know, the cat wanted me to be outside, but wanted me to the door to be open. They didn't want to come inside where I, you know, it's like it had to be this way. So there's something here about somebody having to be this way. Spirit is trying to take you away from that. Those kind of situations, those kind of people, all of that kind of stuff. Because the fly, you know, when you have a fly on the window in your uh, house, I'm going to do this later. Uh, I'm going to get a cup and I'm going to put it over the fly. But in the beginning, the fly is like, thinks, okay, this is going to work. And they keep tapping the glass. They're not getting anywhere. And when I put the cup, at first, they're like frantic. They're frantic. <laughs> it looks like death, but it's not. I'm actually going to... Get them outside so there could be something in your life that you're trying to avoid because this looks like the right way to you but you're you know as a being of higher consciousness i can't tell the fly yo chill i'm about to let you outside this is not a way that's called glass yeah <laughs> you know relax or i might smush you with this cup on accident you know so there's something here that spirit is trying to help you surrender to and you're going to end up seeing gonna be good let's see about it wonders wow we stillness answers will come to you during stillness okay and that's something that you gain during travel or just looking out at nature okay like that person was looking out at the butterfly here okay Let's see. That was the thing. It's like you're traveling through the desert. You don't want to stay in the desert here. So it could be something here that you're trying to stay in. But there's... Look at this. Taking risks. <sighs> yeah. You get, there is something here that's a bit of a risk, you know. And this is kind of like desert climate here. That this, this hawk is going through here. So spirit is going to help you find this way to take this risk. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Okay, Gemini, let me see. Dog for a way, a distant friend is thinking of you. Okay, this could be this cocoa in person. It doesn't have to be. This could be something here. And look, you have... Okay, what am I doing? You have March. This could be Pisces or Aries person. Pisces or Aries person. You could have met them uh, during uh, March, okay? Uh, the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Yeah, there's something here. You know, you're carrying bricks on your head. You're carrying something on your head. That's going to turn into a crown. Because it's an innovative way to do something that makes sense for you. It could be getting back to the old ways and how are you going to marry that with the new ways. But there's something here. Look at this. A chain of events that will affect your life. Wow. And this is showing the earth at a global scale. There's some kind of a risk of putting yourself out there that could pay off for you big time. 
You have the firecracker excitement. Yeah, it's a time. This is an exciting time. This is exciting things to be happening, to be going on for you here. Let's see tarot. Let's see tarot. Let's see about this dog far away. Who is this dog far away? And the transformation. This is so interesting. You have the Queen of Swords, you have the King of Swords, and you have the Death card. You're going through a transition here. Look at the butterflies on her crown. Look at the butterflies etched in stone on his throne, signifying that this transition is done. You know, there's something here I to tell you with this person looking at the butterfly. There's a transition that is at the end. It's done. It's over with here. And especially with the Death card here. So there could be something where life has taken you away from a particular person. You have grown, they have grown, and now you're going to come back together here. This is kind of interesting here. It's kind of very interesting. Let's see about this. This could be a Scorpio person. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, something could be coming together here. You got temperance. Um, they could be uh, an Aquarius or a Libra too, okay? Look at this. You have the Nine of Cups and then you have the Ace of Swords here. So there's a lot of com clear communication. There's a lot of clarity coming forward. There's a lot of wish fulfillment. This is going to be, you're going to be receiving these gifts here. There's gifts that you're going to be receiving. With the crown. Because of the transition you made and because you did this transition with grace, because there could be someone that treated you very badly, situations that were very difficult, and you didn't get the help or the recognition that you deserved, but you prayed, you prayed, you prayed, you prayed, you prayed, you, prayed, you built yourself up. And because of that transition, this is why you're getting this crown here. This crown. So it's four of wands. Wow. Yeah, you, you're, this is this is this is a portal that you're going through. This is a chain events that alters your life. This is you moving to a different timeline here. This is a lot of exciting changes here that are coming in. Okay. Wow. Some kind of a risk. This is saying go for it. You've been hoping and praying for some kind of stability, okay? And maybe you have found it. Maybe, you know, this is going to be that you're on the way to finding it. You're you're having it, right? But then there's still this heartache. There's still this, but I want somebody that I can love, that I can share with, and then here it comes. This is the change. This is the change that's happening. The chain of events that are just, this is what you've been praying for. It just keeps coming the same answer. Wow. You, somebody else has been manifesting this as well. You know, this could be an Aries, this could be a Leo person, okay? This is someone who's very bold person. They know what they want. They're a very nurturing soul. This is someone that there's a lot of passion. And this is someone who knows how to build something that can be sustained, that can last. This is someone that wants to have fun every day of their life. And you and this person, you know, there is this chemistry back and forth. There is this when you and this person enter the room every Everybody notices. There is a way that this is coming together here. Yeah, this person could be healing as well from a lot of difficulty. From a lot of difficulty. So there could be a person that, you know, maybe they were a completely different person before than what they are now. Look. And now they're very stable. Now they're very secure. Now they are a person here that you know knows how to treat an empress here this is a person that has put down the baggage that they need to put down to now show up to their destiny here wow this is look at this shut up wow 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 strength could be a Leo person. There could be something about other people are trying to influence you this way or that way. I wouldn't let other people influence you against giving a person a chance. 
because people can actually change when it's their idea and when they do it and when you see evidence of that in their life and their actions and their words match you know and they've already been living this change for quite some time now <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's it can be very evident there could be a lot of evidence and this is this is a lot of evidence of this change versus oh did we heard this and this but everybody heard all these things years ago and you know what are their motives about this person to try to stop you from getting this new life that you're deserving here so i'd be very careful of other people getting involved i would just agree to disagree okay yeah yeah thank you thank you and move on and do what you want here it's okay to question it's okay to speak to this person about it it's okay to be aware but you're going to make up your own mind about this person and this situation based off of who they are in front of you it's like oh uh somebody else saying telling you this this and this well you know i don't know what you did to that person you know and, and um i know i have changed so much in my life so this is a new passion opportunity that i feel like it's just going to propel you forward you and this person here in this really beautiful way so um wow yeah i really like this a lot this is you know a lot of stability coming in here this is um this is a lot of positive changes and look how fast you know the crown the chain of events this excitement the fireworks this is a there's a risk that you're gonna take here that it's like things are gonna start to happen after this long time of stillness here that's what i was seeing it was just like okay when are things gonna start to happen here and that they're happening here they're really happening wow how beautiful how beautiful it's like you're really kind of like um coming into your own in a way that other people other people i feel like are just going to be absolutely shocked by you you know people thought that they had you pegged they thought this 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 shocked they're gonna be shocked and you and this person power couple when you enter the room, everybody notices. It's like you're floating on a cloud. This is beautiful. This is amazing um, chemistry here that the two of you have. This is like nothing that you've ever experienced. This is like nothing that they have ever experienced here. And other people, they're not experiencing this and they see that and you're showing them that something like this is possible if you believe in yourself enough, if you love yourself enough. To say I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up and be who I am. I'm gonna trust in the divine here, and you know anything is possible, right? So there's something here. You're gonna go from carrying bricks on your head to wearing a crown. How amazing is that, right? Okay. Well, thank you, Gemini. I hope this resonated. If it did, please like and subscribe.